Hello people, welcome back to my Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. This is episode 10 and we are gonna wander around Nimbasa City and figure out what we're supposed to do. Uh, I think there are three options. You can maybe chase Team Plasma into this amusement park, uh, go with Bianca to the musical or challenge the gym leader. I, I'm gonna go with Bianca. Seems like the safest thing to do. Hello there. Oh, Conj! Are you interested in musicals? Then let's go in together! Alright. Amazing, isn't it? <coughs> Hello, you two. How do you do? I'm the owner of this theater. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, I must say that you two seem like phenomenal trainers. What do we do here? We use props to make your Pokemon fashionable and glamorous. Do you want to join in and play dress up? To get you started, here's a prop case. Yeah, we got a prop case. This prop case lets you store props for decorating your Pokemon. First off, you need to pick a Pokemon. Okay, Neville, he's the first one. He probably looked the silliest also. Then, it's time to play dress up. Okay, you can pull out props from the list. Okay, so I have to use the stylus for this. Let's put this. Can I put this on him? Wait, how do I choose it? Do you want a tennis racket also? How do I give it to him? Uh, okay, this is really hard on a, a mouse. I'm using a trackpad right now. Oh, uh, what is this? A belt, okay, we already have something for the waist. A green bread, small bread, blue bread. Pink bread, let's give him a blue one. Let's also give him this tie. Okay, I think that works. Let's go. Does this look okay? Wait, there's nothing. How do I put it on him? Oh, I see. Oh, I can't put this on him? Aw. about this? Nope. Put the tie? Can I do anything on him? This hat? Okay. I guess he's a four-legged creature, so he doesn't really have a waist. Well, he does have a waist, but you can't like put belts on him. Oh, cool enough. He has a hat and a barrette. Okay. Wow! The two of you did a fantastic job coordinated ev coordinating everything. Utterly charming. If you have a Pokemon who can play dress up, you can participate in the Pokemon musical. Would you two please join us? The receptionist can explain everything. Let us say a brief farewell. I eagerly anticipate seeing you on stage. Alrighty. Oh, I don't know what to do. Doing the musical would be totally cool, but there's other stuff I want to do too. Okay, that's it. I made up my mind. I'm going to see the sights in Nimbasa. See ya, Conch. Okay, you don't, you don't even do the musical? Huh, okay. I guess we won't either. Oh, and there she is. 
this music. Oh, I really like this song. I think it's called Emotion. It's so pretty. Okay, going back to reading. Daddy, what are you doing here? I've come to take you back home, of course. Your mother told me that you'd made it all the way out here. Haven't you gone far enough? No way! I'm going to keep traveling with Conch and my Pokemon. Absolutely not! Others do things their way, and we do things ours. Is that so? Then, how about you do things your way, and I'll do things mine? Who is this? Sweetie, you keep going on your travels. Hey, who do you think you are? This is a family matter. My name is Elisa. I'm this town's gym leader. I also happen to be a model. You know, there are many people in this world. There are people whose way of thinking may be completely different from yours. Sometimes this means you may get hurt. Of course! That's exactly right! It's because I'm worried about that. But it's important to keep trying to learn about the differences between yourself and others. To learn that being different is okay. And you shouldn't worry. Trainers always have Pokemon at their side. Pokemon are wonderful. It's not only how cute they can be, but also how much you can depend on them. Please. I know there's gonna be painful stuff like you're worrying about. I know, really, I get it. But like, listen, there'll be tons of nice people too. Know what else? Since I've been traveling with Pokemon, I've already gotten tougher. I can totally tell. So, please? Hmm, I guess. If wanting to continue your journey is selfishness on your part, wanting to stop you is selfishness on mine. I'm surprised to find I'm the one being childish at my age. This gym leader's comments helped me wake up. Bianca, I'm sure it's better that you take the path you want to take now. I hope that your journey will be fun. Bon voyage! Conch, please, take care of my little girl, okay? Papa, I'll come home after I find out what I really want to do. I'm sure he traveled as a trainer himself in the past. Being a parent must be hard. Did I meddle unnecessarily? You looked trouble, so I decided to chime in. By the way, if you're trainers, please stop by the Pokemon Gym. I'll teach you a little something about how tough a journey can get. She's so cool! <laughs> I want to be a totally cool woman like Eliza. Mm, I wonder how I'll get there. Well, I think you're cool, Bianca. Well, before that, I guess I need to discover what I really want to do. See you later, Conch. Oh, well that was a touching touching cutscene. But yeah, I, I thought the beginning was like really sad when Bianca wanted to start her journey and her dad didn't let her. And now we finally get some some closure on that. Uh, so now do we chase Team Plasma into the amusement park? Uh, so just so you all know, I did not look up what I'm supposed to do in Nimbasa City. I did not look up what trainers there are. Uh, but we saw from last episode a couple Plasma grunts, grunts uh, ran into the amusement park. And I remember 
taking a Ferris wheel ride with N. So I don't know if he's gonna come and fight. I guess we might as well go see. Yeah. Oh, there's N. But uh, so you guys also noticed I put Cho in the front because she has sturdy. So in case anything bad happens, she can at least take a hit. All right, now to reading N. You're looking for Team Plasma, right? They ran into the amusement park. Come with me. Oh, it's a Ferris wheel. They're not here. Let's ride the Ferris wheel and see if we can spot them. I love Ferris wheels. The circular motion, the mechanics. They're like collections of elegant formulas. All right, taking Ferris wheel ride with a almost stranger in this tiny confined space. First, I must tell you, I am the king of Team Plasma. Ooh. Gets has asked me to work with him to save the Pokemon. I wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. Oh, oh goodness. That music kind of scared me a little over there. My lord, N! You're safe, sire. There's no problem. You're part of the people we brought in to help us save the Pokemon. So you're under my protection as well. Go quickly and let me and let my battle cover your retreat. Oh, so he does battle. Oh no. Now then, Conch, do you follow my logic? No. So that's how it is. That's unfortunate. Ah, then the future I envision. Perhaps I can't beat you here and now, but I'll battle you anyway to buy time for these members of Team Plasma to flee. Oh boy. Oh boy, I don't know what Pokemon he has. He has four Pokemon. First is a Sandile, which we do not like. I guess we'll send out our own Sandile. All right, Neville. Oh wait, their Sandile didn't intimidate us. Hum. Oh, embargo. Okay, so we can't use items. I guess we can't potion. Uh, hopefully that, no. Oh. What? Come on, Neville. Okay. This is Sand Tomb. Attack itself did 10 damage, and then the after thingy did 3. Okay. Okay, but I can't use potions. Your Pokemon look happy. Okay. So I, why do you keep missing? Okay, okay, sure. We both missed. Okay, fine. We will sand tomb again. Oh, crit! Yeah! It, uh, so does the embargo stay? On Neville, I'm gonna look that. Oh, we can use items again. Awesome. A Scraggy. A Scraggy. Oh no. Okay, I think that has to be. That has to be. Uh. Oh nope, 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 nope. It has to be uh, Molly to take this one, right? 
because I think ground type is also weak to fighting. Let me double check that. Oh, it looks like it is not. Uh, let me see. Uh, so what about fighting? Okay, but fighting is good against dark type, which sand dial is also dark type. Uh, I'm gonna just look up sand dial and its weaknesses. Okay, looks like, yeah, it's, it's weak to fighting. So we are gonna send Molly. Here we go. Got Molly. Brick, brick. Oh gosh, that did 30 damage. Okay, we're gonna try a fire punch. You can do it, Molly. Yeah, okay, no missing. Oh, so, so close. Oh no, now we're gonna be confused. Uh, uh, I'm gonna look up Scraggy and what Scraggy's weaknesses are. Um, okay, it's weak to other fighting or flying types. Cause Molly's confused, I don't like that. Uh, Cho can definitely take one hit, but let's, uh, and it does have Rock Smash, so maybe we'll do that, but then he also has two more Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna just do potions for now. Uh, normal potion, super potion. Uh, I'm gonna try normal potion on Molly. Another brick break. Eee, okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check how many PP Brick Break has. 15, that's a lot. Okay. Should we just attack? You know what, I'm gonna just switch into Cho, have her use Sturdy, and hopefully we can Rock Smash it. Break, break. Oh, wait, we moved second. Oh, that was super effective and did nothing. That is what? Okay, what's 80 minus 54? It's like 30, 26, I think. Okay, well, I guess we're good. Bam. That is the awesomeness of Cho. Molly grew to level 27. I want to learn Thrash. I don't really like Thrash because it makes us confused, right? Uh, it's very strong, but then we become confused. I don't like that. I don't like that risk. I'm not taking Thrash. I think Molly is actually confused right now, right? Sigilyph. Okay. I don't know about its typing or anything, but we gotta heal Cho up. Okay, let's 
take a look at what Sigalith is. Okay, it's psychic. Definitely psychic. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Let's see, it is... Oh, it's weak to rock. But it's Psybeam did so much damage. I think we can take another side beam unless it's a critical hit. In that case, we cannot. Uh, mm, do I want to take that risk? Do I want a potion? Okay, this time it did. What? 33 damage. Uh, 33, I think, yeah, if it lands a critical hit, we would be dead. I guess I'll take that risk. Come on, show. No crit, no critical hit from you. No, no, no. Okay. All right. What does that mean? The sigla fell straight down. Was it? Is it part flying? Wait, let me double check that. It is part flying. It's a psychic flying type. Whirlwind. Ah, you don't like the rock type, huh? Brought out sand dial. But you fell to the ground, right? So that means that means we can hit you? Pokemon I'm gonna search this. Smackdown fell to ground. Google is very helpful. Okay, it doesn't give that much information. I think we could use ground type moves. It probably won't be very effective, but we could use them. Uh, but we should probably heal because we don't know how his side beam will do against Neville. Wait, how much HP does Molly have? Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll just use the super potion. I was debating whether to use the super potion or a normal potion, but I guess we have hyper potions, so that will work. Air cutter? Whoa! Whoa, okay. I don't like that. We are switching, we are definitely switching back to Cho. Okay. Not very effective, but did... Oh, it's a crit. How much did their side beam do? It wasn't 50, right? I don't think it was 50. So we're gonna just smack down again. Tailwind? That just makes you faster though, right? It doesn't do anything when we smack down. All right, cool. Okay, with three down, one more Pokemon left to go. Neville grew to level 26. Oh, he has a Darumaka. Even if I lose, is it different from the future I saw? I don't know. What future did you see? Uh, okay, I'm gonna potion because we know Darumakas have very high attack. Uh, Cho also has very high defense, but you know, better to be safe. I feel like it's such a waste using a hyper potion and only uh, taking back 30 HP. Oh! Oh, we avoided an attack. Okay. 
We're gonna smack down with you too. Oh, one hit KO. Damn. Cho is just amazing. The result was the same, but you, who are you? Haha, <laughs> I got your money. You're quite strong. But I have a future that I must change. And for that future, I'll defeat the champion and become unbeatable, unlike any other. Wow, okay, we get to see him like from first person perspective. Whoa. I'll make all trainers free their Pokemon. Just try and stop me. If you want to be together with Pokemon, your only hope is to collect the badges from each area and head for the Pokemon League. Try and stop me there, if you dare. If your conviction is not strong enough, you will never be able to defeat me. Ooh, whoa, okay. Well, glad we survived that battle. Only survived because I was Googling as we were going. But, like, I feel a little ashamed that I had to do that. But at the same time, we only survived because I did that. So I'm kind of glad I did. Yeah, I feel ashamed that, like, I didn't know what typing Siglyph is and what, like, the Pokemon's weaknesses and um, strengths are, like typing wise. Uh, but yeah, we still survived it. And I guess now it's just the Pokemon gym. What's this building? Oh, the battle subway. Yeah, nope. Nope. Okay. Let's explore around. Oh, that looks like another route. That's the musical theater. This looks like a football dude. We athletes in our Pokemon show excellent teamwork. You can see at the big stadium and small court, so please stop by. Is that this? Big stadium. Well, sure, let's go see. Some entertainment. Soccer players are practicing in big stadium now. People can watch them practicing. Okay, what's that little teleport pad? Oh, right on the field. Oh, we probably have to battle them, which I don't want to do. I don't want to do any unnecessary battling. On the field, they play games in earnest. We can tell how good these professionals are just by watching them practice. Okay. Well, maybe I should battle them just to get some, some training down. But uh, let's explore a bit more before I decide on that. It's a small court, tennis and basketball. Tennis players are practicing a small court now. Uh, yep, yep, they're waiting for me with their Pokemon. Uh, they may challenge you to a Pokemon battle. I have no idea what Pokemon they use. Uh, should we go try? Should I look? No. Okay, I'll just go try. I'll blindly go in and see. Okay. Actually, let me go buy some potions first. I always forget to buy potions. Uh, I feel like I haven't seen the gym either. Uh, 
Uh, let's buy some of these. Let's see what else they have. Okay. Okay, I can buy eight to total. I think I'll buy five. Do we have, we have one paralyzed heal, right? Let's get uh, two more. Do we have awakening? We have two, okay. I remember buying burn heals. I don't think we need ice heals. Okay. Yeah, we haven't seen the gym yet. Uh, don't know where it is. Wait, but actually, where is the gym? It's not in here, is it? Oh, this is the gym, okay. The Shining Beauty, okay. I guess we'll try those athletes. See how we feel about the first one and yeah alrighty hello you look like a referee Pokemon and Pokeballs are my real friends join the training of our Pokemon 11 Pokemon 11 is that the name of the team Okay, he's got one Pokemon, that's all right. Okay, Striker Tony. A Ducklet? No, that's like the one type we do not want is water. Okay. Uh, well, Cho has Sturdy, so I think we can smack down. Actually, let me check Ducklet's typing because it's flying in water. So the flying would make it weak to rock, but the water might counter that. So let me check. Oh, it's still weak to rock. Let me check. It, it is water flying. Yeah, it, it is water flying. But it's still weak to rock. All right. And we will smack down. Feather dance. Okay. Okay. Lows our attack harshly. Oh man. You fell straight down. Okay. Um Yeah, I guess we'll just keep smackdowning. Oh, quivering. That just gives itself HP, right? It hasn't used any uh, damage dealing attacks yet. We should be fine as long as we hit this smackdown. Yeah, there's a bubble beam. But we have sturdy, so worst case, we have sturdy. And it didn't matter. It didn't one hit KO us. And we got it. Chogu to level 27. Ugh, I must still be green. I have plenty of guts though. All right. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Pokemon Hunter run. Okay, I felt okay about that battle. It wasn't too bad. I'm gonna guess there are 11 people to fight because that guy said this is Pokemon 11. This is uh, three guys over here on this half of the court. And we have one, two, three on this half. Oh, I guess we don't have 11 people to fight. That is fine with me. Let's take a look at this goalie. 
everybody makes mistakes. But goalkeepers cannot afford a mistake because they cannot score goals to make up for it. If one Pokemon on a team makes a mistake, however, the other Pokemon and their trainer can cover for it. Okay, thanks. I don't know, the first guy had a water type. What if the next person has multiple water types? I guess we'll try it anyways. Oh, he doesn't fight. Really strong trainers thoroughly do whatever they can do. Okay. He doesn't fight either. If a striker catches a teammate's eye, they understand each other. A Pokemon and its trainer are the same. Don't you agree? I don't know. Whenever I fight, I only see the backs of my Pokemon. Oh, there are four guys here. Still no fighting? Throw a sound pass to a team member. After that, to receive a sound pass, you'll need to move swiftly. Okay, I don't know what a sound pass is. Run, run! Just think about running! Oh. I went, I went for a run this morning. I did not enjoy it, but I need to exercise. Soccer with Pokemon is Pokemon Soccer! The abbreviation is... Poker? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Soccer is beautiful and fun. Pokemon are also beautiful and fun. Okay, was that everyone? There's only one fight? Oh, interesting net. It's not even a real net. It's just like some holographic thing. Okay then, I guess we're leaving. Let's talk to everyone. Okay, guess we'll go to the small court. See if anyone fights there. You look like you would fight. Look, look, this net, it's just like a holographic green thingy. Oh, it looks like these, these two guys at the boundaries up there are gonna fight. Okay, let's go. An elegant smasher has an elegant battle. But please no water types. He's only got one Pokemon, okay. The Blitzel. Okay, we are okay with that. In fact, we are more than okay. We are gonna switch to Neville. Yes. Okay. We have Intimidate. Oh, Thunder Wave doesn't affect us. And now we Sand Tomb. Flame Charge. Okay, didn't do too much damage, but his speed went up, but he was faster than us anyways. Oh, so close to one hit KO. Okay, I guess we'll just do a mud slap. Pursuit. We should be okay with that too, because we are park dark type ourselves. Well that was a crit, okay. Well, no matter, you should be dead. Bam. Okay, and now to the Pokemon Center once again. Okay, we're back. Okay, we already fought you. Do you guys fight? Okay, no. Pokemon tennis is wonderful! Players are never alone. Their Pokemon are always with them. But I don't see any of your guys' Pokemon. 
Tennis is all about rackets and balls. There's nothing profound about it. Okay. All right, you look like you're gonna fight. Oh, no. To become ball boys, we gotta practice. Yeah, you gotta go practice picking up balls. I am a ball boy who collects tennis balls. You are a Pokemon trainer who collects Pokemon. Yeah, I don't really collect Pokemon because Nuzlocke rules. But sure, I guess that was it. Uh, so I think only thing left is to challenge Aliza. And I, I know she has Emolgas because I remember that. Uh, so I'm looking up Emolga right now, looking at its weaknesses. Okay, so thing is, because uh, I actually didn't know Cho with Smackdown could make a flying type fall to the ground, and apparently, if we do that, uh, and they can be uh, hit by ground type moves, which is what Neville is, and yeah, ground type moves are very effective against them. So let's uh, move Neville to the front as we prepare to challenge this gym. I also see Neville's the only one not level 27. He still needs a lot of experience to go. Maybe the trainers in here will be able to help with that before we reach Aliza. Hello there. How about it? I can see you're surprised. Would you ever have guessed that this gym is a roller coaster? Okay, let me fill you in. And take this too. Fresh water. In this roller coaster gym, the first step is to get in the car. Next comes the platform. There you can change where the coaster is going. Sometimes you continue by riding the cars of opponents you defeat. That's how you aim for the gym leader. By the way, Electric type Pokemon don't do well against ground type moves. Unless it's an Emolga. Okay, looks like there are two different coasters we can take. I guess we'll get in this one, this blue track. Here we go. Well, I guess we get off here. And there's a person. Okay, so I don't know how strong the Pokemon are in this gym. I hope Neville is good enough. Uh, and we, we just bought a bunch of Hyper Potions, correct? We have 14 Hyper Potions, so it should definitely be enough to at least face this trainer here. Your fashion sense is kind of Nuvema town-ish. Really, you can tell? Okay. There's two Pokemon. First, Emolga, of course. Level 24. Okay, yeah, well. You get intimidated. I don't think it matters because Emolga has high special attack. Uh, yeah, we can't really do much, so I'm gonna switch to Cho. But I know Emolga has some attack where uh, the faster it is against its opponent, that more damage it does. And Cho is very slow, while Emolga is already very fast. So, oh well, I guess Cho has 30, so we can at least take one hit. Double team. Okay. You do that. We're gonna smack down. Hopefully we hit you. Spark, okay, spark is fine, I think. Yeah, that is very much fine. And we still hit you, even after your double team. Oh, so close to one hit KO. And you fell to the ground. So that sucks for you. Let's try a little mud slap. And 
Bam. One Emolga down. Got another Pokemon to go. Another Emolga. Well, we just show that we can definitely take on Emolgas. Oh, it's so close to one-hit KOs. Maybe Cho needs to level up one level, maybe then oh, I'll be good. We can one-hit KO these Emolgas. Alright. Oh, well, Cho almost leveled up there. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I had originally planned for this gym to be all about Neville, you know, like Neville's moment to shine. But it looks like if all they use are Emolgas, it's gonna have to be Cho. Running back to the Pokemon Center. Okay, we're back. Gonna continue on the blue track. Okay, there's a switch over here. We press the switch and the path changed. Okay, wait, wait for me. Okay, uh, so I kept Neville out in front uh, because I figured if this next person also has an Emolga, we can switch into Cho and be safe because she has Sturdy. And um, if they don't have an Emolga, they have some other electric type, then Neville can go ahead and fight it. Hello, person. Welcome, challenger. I will do you the greatest of honors and accept your challenge. I always thought if the Pokemon world were real, I would like to be like one of these trainers in a gym. Cause then you wouldn't have the responsibility of a gym leader, but it seems like a pretty steady job. And I mean, how cool it is to work for a gym leader. Okay, we're, we're gonna, s oh, they tried pursuit. Oh, good thing we didn't switch. I also think it'd be uh, cool to like, specialize in just one type. So that's also why being a trainer in a gym might also be cool. You're dead. Rolled, 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 okay. All right, I'm gonna go um, back to the poke. Oh, I just missed the coaster. Yeah, so I, I guess I'm gonna just go back to the Pokemon Center in between every battle, or right after every battle, cause I don't wanna take any risks. And I also don't want to use the potions, which I have to spend money on. I'd rather, um, if I have to use a potion, I'd rather use it in battle. If I have a chance to, you know, save, save my money and go to the Pokemon Center instead, I will. And that's what I am doing. Okay, we're back at the gym. I'm going to continue on the path that I was on with this blue track that changed to a turquoise track. All right, and we just beat you. Oh, wait for me, Coaster. Oh, hello. Are you cool riding a roller coaster? I, mean, I just rode one to get here. When you ride a roller coaster, the speed can make you dizzy. 
I'm going to make your head spin with a Pokemon battle that's just as intense. Okay, this person better have an Emolga because he's talking about speed. He has two Pokemon. Nope, it's a Blitzel. We throw an Intimidate. And now we Sand Tomb. Oh, we're faster than the Blitzel. Oh, interesting. Oh, so close to one hit KOs! Okay, Flame Charge, we can take that. Okay, will the Sand Tomb kill it? Please? Yes? Yes, it fainted. So it kind of was a one hit KO. It took one turn to kill it. It's another Blitzel. Well, we'll Sand Tomb on you also. Uh, we're always so close to one hit KO. Now we have to take this Flame Charge. Okay, but I think the Sand Tube will, will kill it. Yep. And Level grew to level 27. Yeah, okay, Neville's attack is really high. Okay. And guess, oh. Your way of battling, it's elegant. You've got style. Even compared to Miss Eliza. Okay, well, guess what I'm gonna do now. Go to the Pokemon Center, and I always just miss that coaster. That car. Waiting, waiting, here we go. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna head back to the Pokemon Center right now. Yes, and we are back. Whoa, okay. Yeah, sorry, I I wasn't talking while I was doing all these puzzle things. Yeah, alright. This path. Oh, hello. Your Nimbasa Gym Challenge is finally nearing its finale. But if you don't beat me, you won't get to meet Miss Eliza. I'm also a Pokemon trainer who was toughened up by Miss Eliza. I'll show you power and style befitting this gym. Okay, she's got one Pokemon. And it's an Emolga. So it looks like the female trainers have Emolgas and the male trainers have Blitzels. That's what it looks like. Uh, we are switching into Cho. Okay, and he's double team. Okay. We're gonna smack down. And he's double team again. Kicho, please, you can you can land this hit. You can hit it. Oh yeah, she did. Okay, I guess we'll just do a little mud slap now. Yeah, but this Emolga is level 25. We're level 27. Um I don't know. It seems like we're just at like the okay level. We're now level 28, but yeah, it seems like we are, level-wise, we're like just okay to challenge this gym. Uh, it's a little lower than I like, but oh well, we've been doing all right so far.
Okay, we're back to where we were. Let's go. Oh, a loop. Oh, it looks like we made it to Elisa. Okay, sorry about that. There are some more loud noises outside and I was waiting for them to stop. It took quite a while, but I think they're done now. So I'm gonna continue on with my fight. We made it to Elisa. And well, I know she has a Molgas, so I'm gonna put Cho in the front. Yeah. Yes, here we go. <sighs> Hello. Did a fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved Pokemon will be the next one to make your head spin. All right, Eliza. Sitting on the ground. Yep, Amolga. Okay, Amolga's level 25. Uh, I guess that means her Pokemon are only get gonna be higher level than this. Oh, Volt Switch! Oh. Uh, that was really strong. Did 33 damage. And she just sent out another Amolga. And we one hit KO'd it. All right, was this the original Imolga? Uh, let's see, it did 30 some damage. So I think even a critical hit, we should be fine. So we're gonna smack down. Okay, Volt Switch again. What? No! No, 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 no. Oh my god, I should have healed. I should have healed. I was thinking, oh, should I heal or not? I thought Cho could take it. And I even said, like, if, if it was a critical hit, it shouldn't have... It shouldn't have uh, done that much damage. Wait, I'm gonna take out a calculator right now. I'm gonna see. Okay, that first one did 33 damage. But it was a different Emolga, so maybe the stats are a little different. But critical hits do, do 1.5 more damage. And that is 50. Cho had 52, 53 more damage. Uh, maybe that Emolga was just a little bit stronger than the first one. Darn it, darn, uh, I should have healed. Oh my gosh. Why, why Cho, we, we relied on Cho so much because of her, she has sturdy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why? And of course, it just had to be a critical hit. Of course. Oh. Okay. That was so dumb. Oh, wait, another critical hit? What is wrong with these Pokemon? I'm really upset right now. You can probably tell. Yeah, especially with Cho, because I was thinking of healing her, but I was like, oh well, she could take it. Doesn't matter. 
and then it uh, uh. What? Another critical hit? <sighs> okay. Uh, I've never used Torment, so we're doing that. I really can't believe this was how Cho dies. This, uh. Volt switch. Okay, Volt switch was very powerful, even on Cho. Okay. And we're paralyzed. Uh, I still can't get over what happened to Cho. Finally, we get a critical hit. You know, screw you. I freaking killed Cho. I still, uh... Cause I was, I was thinking, like, uh... Cho should be able to take a critical hit anyway, so I don't have to heal her up. And then... I guess her second Emolga was a bit stronger than her first one. Ugh. I really, I'm so, ugh. See, I, I really, I'm really upset about this one because I was thinking it. I was thinking, should I heal her? And like, I chose not to and it was just a terrible, terrible mistake. Okay, just just give me my badge. I want to go. Okay, okay. Volt switch. It was Spark that killed, I think. Was it Spark or was it Volt switch? Oh no. I won't be able to get to Dreadville City. Wait for you on Route 5. I don't want to wait for you anywhere. Cho is dead because you landed a crit. Yeah, uh, I was thinking a uh, shield show, and then, uh, and then I thought, well, she should be able to take the crit based off the previous Amolga's damage, and what are the chances that it would be a critical hit anyways? And of course, this Amolga was stronger and landed a critical hit. Of course. Of course. Goodness, makes me so mad. Because now we have to release Cho. She is so well on our team. And we, 
we relied on her so much because she had sturdy so if there's ever a pokemon that we couldn't that we weren't sure of she would be the first one out there and it just upsets me so much <sighs> it really does uh the critical hit like really really it had a surprise be stronger than the other emolga and land a critical hit and then her Z Z zebstrika the blitzel evolution kept landing critical hits too it was just like why why did why can they get so many critical hits and we couldn't and then okay I'm just really mad. I guess we'll release Cho. Oh, goodbye. Ah, oh, so stupid. Now we only have two Pokemon left. But really, that was just so stupid. Uh, guess we'll go on to the next route. I remember reading, I was reading up this next route and I think something happens, like I have to battle someone, but oh well. I'm like, I'm just so upset. We could catch a Pokemon. Oh, and there's Sharon. <sighs> okay. Yeah, so I could end the recording around now or whenever Sharon stops talking. But uh, I really want to catch another Pokemon after we lost Cho. So I'm going to just keep going. Conch, stop. You've got a Bolt Batch. I've got a Bolt Batch. Let's test who's stronger, you or me. This time, I'm going to win. Okay, I did not think we were battling Sharon. I knew we were battling someone, but I didn't think it was Sharon. And we don't have Cho. Like, what are we going to do without Cho? Just keep... Okay. I'm not quite sure what fake out really does. Oh, it just flinches us. Why? Are you are you surprised? Oh, we missed. Of course. We managed to brute force our way through the first Pokemon. Pan Sage. Oh, I should have just healed Cho. I'm still. Uh, I still can't get over that. Through two of his Pokemon, Molly grew to level 28. Here's the Pig Knight. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Sandile is not good against fighting, so we have to keep Molly in. And we'll, uh, okay, last time I used Facade on you, and we missed. Roll out! Uh, okay. And it was super effective. Like, really? 
Uh, is it ground type? I thought it was a normal type. It's a rock type move. Okay. And it gets stronger as it goes. Right? Uh, so rock type. How is Sandile with rock types? I think I always thought rollout was a normal type move because in Gen 2, Whitney used it with her mill tank. Okay, it looks like Sandiles are okay with rock type moves, so we're gonna move Neville out. Oh, but we're weak to fighting. Oh, but he's stuck in rollout, so we should be okay for the next few turns. Like, he won't use a fighting type move. I guess we'll just try Crunch. We just learned it. That's not very effective. Oh! What, what's up with all of these critical hits? Okay, this is the fourth rollout. Not very effective yet, did half. Uh, yeah, did half of our total HP, so we will heal again. Wait for the fifth rollout. Oh my gosh! But he also has fighting type moves, I think, so. Oh gosh. Okay, no, he used Flame Charge. Where's the speed? Uh, should I switch Molly in? Okay, I know Molly can at least take the first rollout. I think Molly can is okay with Flame Charge. I remember last time his Pig Knight had Arm Thrust and that did a lot of damage. But it would do a lot of damage on Neville also. So we know he has Rollout and Flame Charge. I guess we'll try Molly. As long as he doesn't use Fighting type move. Okay, Flame Charge. Heal. See, I'm being very, uh, what's the word? Generous, I guess, with the potions now after freaking happened to Cho. He's starting his rollout again. Okay, so the first one does 16 damage. I think we can take one more, so we're gonna try a facade. Oh, and that killed him, okay. Tranquil, okay, his pit of evolved. Uh guess we'll keep Molly in. Cause I don't think Sandile is like flying, right? Let me see. Oh uh, Sandiles are okay with flying types. But the, I don't think the ground its ground type moves can land, can hit the flying Pokemon. Oh, these hyper potions. I'm still. Uh, if I just, I just used one hyper potion on Cho. Cho would still be here. Uh, and that quick attack did a lot of damage. Oh goodness, he's gonna use a potion, isn't he? Okay, I guess we'll use a potion too. Oh, he used Roost. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, that's okay. If we can land this fire punch, we will be good. And we do land it. So we survived Sharon. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm just I'm so still so mad about Cho. I just want to keep like destroying people and catch other Pokemon too. I catch some more Pokemon because I don't because uh, we're down to only two Pokemon. Anyways. Why? Why can't I beat you? Because you suck. Oh, hello, Aliza. Who killed Cho. Oh, you two are friends. That's nice. How you're helping each other, each other get better by competing. Okay, let's go. Will you heal my Pokemon? Oh, if it isn't Aliza. Aren't festivals grand? Life should be enjoyed. Who is this man? This is Alder, the Unova region's champion. Champion? Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person. Are you not? My name is Alder. I'm the Unova Pokemon League's champion. Pleased to make your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Um, I'm Sharon from Nuvema Town. My goal as a trainer is to become the champion. Hmm. Traveling with a goal in mind is a commendable thing. And what do you plan to do after becoming the champion? What else is there other than striving to become stronger? The strongest trainer. That's the champion. Hmm. Becoming stronger. Becoming stronger, you say? Is that alone enough of a goal? Hmm. It's not that I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. In my travels, I've helped many people learn to love Pokemon. I think that's important too. If you play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. Will you two have a battle with those two? Hey, you two, come here for a moment. Understood. But before that... Oh, thank you. Okay, let's battle. Alright, okay, they each only have one Pokemon. A herdier and a herdier, okay. Both level 26. He's using Lipard, and now I have Molly. Oh, they have Intimidate. Okay, this will fire punch, I guess, the, the male herdier, because it's closer to us. Like we both went for the same herdier. Nice. It has a berry. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Use torment on who? Okay. Okay, all right, that herdier fainted from recoil damage, that's cool. Hopefully this other herdier doesn't attack us. And it did. F you, oh. And now Molly's gone too. Okay, that one I actually had no chance. I'm sure Cho could have taken both, both takedowns. But I really did not have any chance in that. Just two takedowns in a row. I don't have a chance of, like, without a chance of um, healing in between, like, uh. See, I'm not as upset about this as with Cho, because this one, I really, there was nothing I could do. With Cho, I was like, I could have, I could have healed her. So I'm still upset about Cho, as you can tell. There's 
so close to killing it. Okay, so we lost two Pokemon this episode. Nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon looked like they were having fun. Young man, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who are happy just being with Pokemon. There are many different people and many different answers. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I may hold differing views, but so be it. Give it some thought. Let's roll. The Drizzle Drawbridge is just ahead. Champion is the strongest of the strong. That's all there is to it. All right, Sharon. Hi. Right, so we lost two Pokemon. And I was thinking, uh, I was thinking, uh, route is it route five that we were just on? We can catch a Pokemon there, and then we could catch another Pokemon on the Driftville Drawbridge. So I was thinking, oh, we could catch two Pokemon. We can add two Pokemon to our team. Well, we lost two Pokemon on our team. So that's not cool at all. Yeah, I feel like if I was able to save Cho earlier, the Molly would not have had to die either because I'm pretty sure Cho could take the takedowns. Well, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, Molly. Second Pokemon to die in this episode. Uh, the way you died, I feel like there's, there's really nothing I could have done. Uh, yeah, you had two takedowns in a row. Uh, you know, maybe if Sharon's Lipard had attacked that Herdier, the first Herdier that we were targeting, maybe that Herdier would have died and we only would have had to take one takedown but I can't control what Sharon does. And there's really nothing else I could have done. So I'm sorry, Molly. I guess there was stuff I could have done. If I saved Cho, it would have all been okay, maybe. All right, well, now it's just, just Neville. I think Neville's fully healed, but just in case. I mean, like, we managed to beat Sharon, and then Molly dies to two preschoolers. Okay, I guess we could catch Pokemon out here. Route 5, it looks like there's a trainer hiding up there. There are trainers hiding all all around up there. So I'm gonna just stay out of the trainer's sight because we only have one Pokemon. And we can maybe catch this guy. It's a Lipard. Okay, we'll try to catch it. Yeah, sometimes I wonder if I will ever have a full team of Pokemon. I also wonder if um uh, like because we have, I have so many pokemon die already it's like i don't know how i'm still alive i always somehow manage to hold on with just one pokemon but uh if anything did happen and i lost uh i guess i just start over uh yeah, I feel like, yeah, if I die before com getting all eight gym badges, then yeah, I would start over. But if I die after that, I would not. Anyways, uh, 
I guess we'll start throwing Pokeballs. We have 10 Ultra Balls. I'll try a Great Ball first. One, two, three, and did not catch it. Could I use Mud Slap? Nope. Okay, so I'm afraid any other move would kill it. So I guess we'll just, we'll try an Ultra Ball. One, two, three. We got it. Okay. Okay, so now we have two Pokemon again. It's the cruel Pokemon? Lightheart's a cruel Pokemon? Okay. I guess we'll give it a nickname. Your girl, awesome, okay. Uh we are calling you. Okay, cool. Alright, so now I have two Pokemon again. I feel a little better, but I would really like to have Cho and Molly with us too. And I'm gonna go to the Driftville Drawbridge, and I believe we can catch ducklets on there. So I will go do that. Yeah, so I'm I'm double checking the the Pokemon that Eliza has, and her Omogas are the same level. So I guess there's. Stats are different, but I don't know. I feel like when it comes to NPC Pokemon, if peop if they're the same level, you would assume that they were about the same. It's over here. Okay, we got a hyper potion. Oh, I did not stock up on my potion after the battles. I think we should be okay on the Drisville Drawbridge. Uh, wait, you want to fight? I did not know you wanted to fight or else I would have gone around you. Sigalith. I... Uh... Okay, I forgot what Sigalith... Was. I know it's Psychic Flying, but I don't remember um, its type advantages and disadvantages. So I know my ground type can't hit it anymore, but it is weak to dark types. Let's see how Sandile is with Psychic. Oh, Sandile is immune to Psychic. I did not know that. Maybe the previous Sigilu, if we should have used Neville then. Okay, Tailwind. That makes him faster, right? But we it's already faster than us. And we want to KO it. Okay. Cool. Level 29. Oh wait, I think Neville evolves at level 29. Yep. Awesome. Neville is evolving. Neville evolved into a Krokorok. Oh, it's Krokorok? I always thought it was a Krokorok. Croc. Okay, Krokorok. Okay, old man who secret wanted to battle me. This way. Now to contact him. It's me, Aliza. Please lower the drawbridge. 
I have a couple of trainers here who want to challenge you. Okay, thanks. Now watch this. Ooh. I feel like the visuals in this game are so good. It's amazing. I have a TV gig, so I've got to go. The gym leader of the next town may take some getting used to. Do your best, both of you. What I am is a trainer. I prove I'm right by getting stronger and winning in battle, even against the champion. All right, Sharon. Okay. So I know we can catch ducklets on here, so I'm gonna come over. It looks like people might want to battle. Also, if we're catching ducklets, Neville might not be the Pokemon to be out in front. Okay, got past that guy. Oh, I heard there is a shadow. Oh, it was a health wing. Any more shadows? Oh, here's one. Ducklet? Nope, it's a clever wing. Oh, here's another shadow. And it's a Pokemon battle. All right, Ducklet. All right, Minerva, this is your first battle and we're gonna try to catch this Pokemon. Uh, I guess we'll just use Fake Out. Actually, which one is weaker? That's 18. So each time is 18. This is 40. Only works the first turn the user is in battle. So I guess we should use that. Just don't kill it. Okay, good. And it flinched. Maybe this is good enough that we could start throwing Ultra Balls at it? Maybe? Let's... why not try? We have nine Ultra Balls. One, two, three... We caught it! Oh wow, okay. We barely damaged it, and we caught it. Okay, cool. All right, we got a ducklet. Yes, we will give it a nickname. You are Luna. And okay, cool. So our team is back up to three Pokemon. I was hoping it would be five, but I really was not expecting to lose Cho or Molly. So, yeah. All right, we're gonna heal. So yeah, I don't know. This episode, especially with, I'm still, a, I still can't get over how Cho died because I was, I've already said this so many times, but I was thinking maybe I should heal her. But then I thought, no, there's no way they would be so strong that they killed Cho in the next turn, even if it's a critical hit. And then they were, they were strong enough to kill Cho on a critical hit. Huh, so well, anyways, uh, yeah, so really upsetting to lose Cho and Molly. But we caught Minerva and Luna here just now, so we are back up to three Pokemon. And yeah, I guess next episode we'll I'll train them, some grinding, and maybe battle the other trainers on Route 5. And then we'll take it from there. 
All right, see ya.